Yo, Night Trap, how you doing? Brexit's near Rip UK, but what's actually gonna happen? Doing good, how about you? I'm doing alright. Had a nice nap before I started streaming, so feeling good. Dropped all of my inputs right there. I switched the jump left. And then jump up. Jump up. I was just like, nah, cancel that. There's a nice juicy rear end for you to jump into here. Somehow earlier I got all sevens on this level. I didn't know that was a thing, but I did it. <laughs> Every frog, seven seconds. Stuff's gonna go up in price and make us a third world country. You're moving to the States. I mean, I don't think... I don't know. I definitely don't know enough about the situation to predict what's going to happen, but I would anticipate that it's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> Like they, they predicted the stock market would crash or whatever when Brexit happened. And it, the results were mild. When the vote passed at least. Something tells me that the uh, similar kind of situation, just mild results would happen. Is there a Rajiku? Unless you don't like bagged milk. You can get box milk if you don't like the bag stuff. What is bag milk? Uh, literally milk in a bag. It's exactly what it sounds like. Um, that rear end did not hit me. Moving on. If it makes good tea, you'll drink it? It's milk. It's not different. It's just in a bag. 
So it catches people off guard. As long as it's good enough quality plastic for the bag, right, that makes sense. Aren't bags better for the environment? Probably. If I had to take a guess, I would say yes. Just because it's less material in them, I think. Soy milk. Well, it's not a special kind of milk that's in the bag. It's just milk in a bag. It's the, pretty much the same milk. Yeah, but plastic cartons probably contain more plastic than a bag. That's the theory. Cartons are paper, not plastic cartons. Like the kind I would buy. Bag milk is just no. Oh no, we had bag milk in like elementary school. It didn't seem to be too much of a problem there. Carton is French for cardboard? Oh. Well, that uh, makes more sense then. You drink a very specific brand milk then? Well, you're not going to be able to get that brand in either country I would expect, unfortunately.
Buy a cow and get your own milk. It's different. Like, fresh from the teeth, the milk is different. <laughs> Very much. Ah, I did that twice now. Shouldn't have gone this way. This way is slow. But these cycles are much better. Make your own cow drink milk? That would be weird. Like, that, that just doesn't seem right. A <laughs> new meta. <laughs> Feedback loop on milk. Yeah, that there's no way that's gonna have positive effects in the long run. Both would be not okay. Like, both are wrong. I don't think we need to rank these. Yeah, cows don't eat meat. Haggis is good. That doesn't have anything to do with whether it should be in a healthy cow's diet. And there's no way this turns out good. green cycle all right good zone Goat milk is a little funky. I'm not a huge fan of goat milk, but goat cheese. 
That stuff's legit. Nice call, thank you. Like goat cheese on pizza? Hook me up. Cream cheese is blah? I'm a fan of cream cheese. Cream cheese on a bagel? Every time. Dang it. there because I knew that the oh frick okay playing it safe but the game's gonna screw me anyways cool cycles are really annoying Not a fan of cheesecake? Oh, hold on. Like, you don't have to eat cheesecake, but like, that stuff is good. Someone banned this guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of uh, food, but. <laughs> It reminds me of in middle school. Someone's like, I don't like peanut butter or chocolate. It's like, man, you're wrong. You're just wrong. Like, what has gone wrong in your life that you don't like peanut butter or chocolate? Unless you're allergic to peanut butter or like you have nuts. Nut allergy, acceptable. Maybe you just had some bad cheesecake. That's possible. Um, I forgot to split. It was a good zone though. What about fish cake? Well, that doesn't sound right. What's fish cake? Anything like a crab cake? So that's not really cake, but you know. This level looks sick when done right. Agreed. The sad thing is, you never see this in any other category, because every other category is the first gold frog, and that's it. It's so sad. A cooking stream? You're gonna have to ask Mr. Trouble for that one. Like, I'm not your go-to guy for cooking. the setup for it. Oh, 
I didn't save here because I've died on that purple frog too many times in runs. Just trying to get through the level. This is a level I should practice. There's a really cool purple strat right here. I don't do because I'm dead. You can clip through the bottom and just grab the, the purple frog immediately, basically. I don't know why it works, because it should kill you, but it works. And that's the important part. Um Alright. Dropped my jump straight up, just ignored an up press. That should have been on the platform 100%. I disagree. The game is trolling. clip through the blocks right uh somewhat you can do stuff like that you clip onto the block you're trying to jump out of could have been better but we'll take it I was too slow for the fast red frog, but otherwise... My cave zone's been pretty good recently. The only thing is I should practice the last level. Um, I definitely don't do like, optimal strats on the last level. Around the gold frog. Can be a lot faster. I've been sitting here thinking about battered Mars bar, and I'm like, are you talking like a fried Mars bar? Because that's definitely good. Went the wrong way there, but still caught the red frog. I like to catch the catch the red frog there, because um, if you miss it, you end up just you know, diverting for the orange frog. 
but if you put the red frog last, then you miss it. Things get a little hairy. Deep fried Mars bar, nice. Jumping right there is always a bit iffy. Oops. Alright, cave zone complete. Purple, blue, orange, green, red. There we go. There's a thing called a sconer and it's a sausage and batter wrapped in Donner kebab meat then battered again and fried. That sounds excellent. This level blows Joe, do you know about the two wrong warps? Because if you don't, then I've got a surprise in store for you. No, no, there's now two wrong warps. Level's still bad, but it at least says two wrong warps. Like, it's the longest level in the game by a hundred seconds. But it has two wrong warps, which is one and a half more than any other level in the game.
And if you're wondering how this works is, uh, the birds here actually fly out of bounds. And so when you jump off there, um, you're not in the level and the game's like, well, where do we put you? And it turns out that the default response happens to be the bottom right land. And that's the blue frog. Like it's just the natural place for it to put you. Uh, but as you saw with the green frog warp, um, there are other elements into the math that can be manipulated by say super hopping off the back to let you warp somewhere else. Now most of the other places you warp aren't useful, uh, but the blue frog and the green frog warp are definitely good. Half a wrong warp? Yeah, so in Boom Boom Barrels, it's not really a wrong warp, uh, but the barrels wrap the screen, and so if you're writing a barrel, it will allow you to wrap the screen as well. But um, Bang Bang Barrels, they put a kill plane in to prevent this from happening, and in Boom Boom Barrels, they put a blue box that doesn't kill you. <laughs> One of the modders was like, why is there this blue box over here? And I was like, well, that probably should kill you, but it doesn't. So it's not really a wrong warp, but it is still a warp. It's not supposed to happen. Well, these are straight up your out of bounds and the game does math to determine your location. And it comes up with the green and blue fo frog locations. unfortunate but this game was actually quite rushed um, there was two additional zones like the last level was actually there was supposed to be a jungle and a ruin zone but they didn't have enough time to finish the zones so you just have one level there that is a mix of jungle and ruin elements But yeah, that's 19 seconds faster. It can be faster. The warp save about 20 seconds. So hey, well, I'll take 20 seconds off the, the longest level in the game. Especially like the coolest 20 seconds to save. Like there's some cool strats in this game, but the wrong warp definitely has to be the coolest. This one I take the green frog. Now I go for the red frog. It lines up really well.
and this mint chocolate or mint chip ice cream. Extra alcohol content in the peppermint extract has made it rather soft. That makes sense. That's undone. Very good zone. One frame. I seriously think I was one frame away from dying there. Never truly far from death. Yeah, but like that was cutting it real close. Before it turned to a soup and without brain freeze. Perfect. Faster green frog there, the blue frog would have been like 10 seconds faster, but what can you do? So dumb. 
But if you don't end up on the the right row for the gold frog immediately, getting onto it without dying is near impossible. Almost went for the split, some kind of weird any percent slash gold frogs have it. Nope. Not done yet. That's an important one to get. It's really slow if you don't get that immediately. Hard mode the previous level? Yeah. So that is something you'll see. Um, a lot of the zones repeat the level except for harder. This one has faster barrels and stuff. Different layouts. Now this zone only has one repeat level, but some of the others will repeat two of them. First one you notice. I don't know how long you've been around for, but the cloud zone, loony balloons and loonier balloons for repeats. The machinery zone doesn't repeat any. Same for leave. But um, the lily pad zone does. It has two repeats. Cactus on two repeats. Retro zone hits five repeats. a bit slow but I still got there it took me a while to get on the right um, the right row
Alright, zone complete. Uh, the third level of Retro Zone, the game's programmed wrong, and the, the girl frog can just randomly kill you. Nitro. Yo, Jules, how you doing? And it's safe because I know I have to wait on this bird anyways. And I didn't know where that cycle was going to be. I think changing the cam camera angle does reduce lag. But like, there's a limit to how much you can actually save. So that whole area is just laggy. Which Don't die to the snake. Seems to be behind. That's unfortunate. But that any stream connection for Twitch that isn't direct wired is always pretty delayed. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate then. Oh. How you doing, Wed? Alright, so there's like a 100% chance that I can't make the cycle. Which means I should try and not die. I'm doing good. Just, uh... Working on the hundo at the moment. Down. Started at a 119, so. Been saving a lot of time. It was a fairly unoptimized category to say the least.
Alright, good level. Could have gone past you there. Alrighty, level complete. It zooms in the camera on this level to uh, prevent the game from lagging because the this game could not run this level on this hardware if they just kind of let it go. One of the, the modders theorizes that this was originally two levels um, and they combined it into one because there's a number of things about this game that they kind of rushed and did last minute because they ran out of time or got cut short or something. It got rushed and a whole bunch of stuff got cut.
van. <laughs> Making it look easy, not... Uh, it's not, don't get the wrong idea. I've already screwed up the red frog cycle, which is fine. Just means I won't go for the fast drive. So I'll go for the slow strat. Which is what I was planning on doing anyways, so no big deal. I found a faster strat than um, the previous route that people do RTA earlier, which is the same thing except for the gold frog is done faster. Um, that's cool, but I'm not going to do that right now. But you can do a, a third hippo ride fairly consistently if you do the uh, IL strat. Well, there we go. 59.42. The sub one right now. Um, Lily Pad, I think, had like a death or two. Retro Zone wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect, but like it was a really good run. Huge grats on the sub one. Thanks. Thanks, everybody, for the GGs. I don't know that I necessarily want to keep pushing this category farther. Like, Sub one was like my primary goal, and that was good. Like, I think, did I have a death in Leaf Zone? Yeah, I had like two deaths in Leaf Zone. Otherwise, like all my deaths I think were before Machinery. Might have had a death in the last level of the machinery zone. But yeah, cave zone. I think that was deathless. It wasn't perfect. Like, I could watch a few seconds, but we're literally talking a few seconds. Cloud zone. Um, I think cloud zone was good. Sewer zone. Uh, slow blue frog and slime sliding. Otherwise, that was good. Cactus Zone. Cactus Zone was good. I'd have to come up with better routes for the 4th and 5th level. And then Tropical Zone, I didn't do the IL strat, but yeah, clean playthrough. So that was actually really good. I don't know that I want to keep pushing 100%. I'm happy with that. At least for now. If anyone ever beats my 100% time, I'll, I'll think about it. But no one else has, in these six years that I've ran this game, no one else has done a 100% run. So there's that for you. Actually, hold on. I'm going to leave that up. Because also, since this was a game over in this run, <clears throat> we get the swag finale, which is the full level recap of every single score. 
Joster, get to it. Now, Joster's got a uh, tiny tank to learn. By the way, tiny tank, not a terrible game. Like, it's it's not bad. It's got all the, the quirkiness of a good game so far that I've played. What time is it? It's, uh, nine, 10 o'clock. Hmm. All right, so next Sunday, I'm gonna be routing Sigiri Nijiri, because uh, I want to get a completed run of that before SGDQ submissions. <laughs> like, oh, could you imagine? And I signed up for uh, the 12 hour challenge for Sigiri, which it's not all gonna, I'm not gonna do a 12 hour stream on Sunday, but I will do a longish earth stream. Is that the LSD game? Yes. And so, what I'm gonna do is, first off, the theory is that. Um, the theory is that the spawns are all caused by the same thing every time, so then you can just route out where to go and when. And so it should just be routing. To connect the dots. What's the fastest route? I don't think it'll be too hard. But yeah, so since I had a game over this run, it shows every single level from the beginning of the game to the end. If you die and get, have a game over, um, it starts at wherever your uh, game over ended you. So only the levels since you started the game. And since I haven't game overed, uh, I get a full run through and then we'll get my high score which is probably going to be the high score. So not only is this a 100% speed run, but this is a high score run. Um, and even if you were to route this for high score, it wouldn't be too much slower. Because uh, the bugs generally don't make up for the, the lots of time. Because like a second's like a thousand points, and a hop is 50 points. No, a hop's like 10 points. So... Yeah, you're looking at like 50 points per second plus bugs so you have to get like thousand point bugs or the quick hops so in most cases you're not going to deviate for high score unless you're getting time bugs time bugs is where the game gets really crazy could have had a higher score if you swallowed yeah time flies any any level with time bugs that's where you're going to really boost your score also, shout out to Medieval. That's what that one's high score was. And then Beast Wars. That's another one. Marijuana. Well, it's marijuana, but you know. Six three six eight eight five. It's not actually the high score. I had a six four. Dying. So I don't think lives actually give you points. So dying to regather uh, points in a level could be another strat for high score, which would make high score dumb. That's why speedrun is the way to play. But yeah, fifty nine forty two. Let's see what my sum of best is. Compare against best eggs. 5849. So within a minute of the sum of best, the sum of best could come down for 